Welcome to I Live Stocks. We're going to talk about two watch lists that I have. One is the EV car watch list, and the other one is the 2009 or 2020 pot watch list, cannabis watch list. And let me see. We'll go straight to the cannabis news. It kind of, you know, getting the market moving here lately. And that is this one right here. The Key House Committee sends marijuana legalization bill to the floor to vote on. It's going to be another catalyst for the next run on the cannabis sector. And then this one here, I think, is a big deal, too. The UN reclassifies cannabis as a less dangerous drug. So that's two good, two good boosters for the sector that we're watching today. Let's go ahead and check them out. I'm using my, my Fibonacci with my EMA moving averages for, for this round. And we're going to go ahead and put this pot stock well, let's do the pot one first, being as we talked about it. Let's try to find some good plays on here. You notice the market was pretty green. Some of these arrangements here in the pot sector. Pura was on top. That's a little penny stock. I don't know if I want to look at it or not. Let's go ahead and move this over here. Pura mm, had a nice little breakout. Always want to look at the news. Two trillion market opportunity. Uh, Hope Farmers and CDC. Yeah, this is one I used to play, but I don't know. I think I'll just pass on it. Tilray's back at resistance level. We got resistance level right here at. Magnify that up. Resistance level at 924. If we can break that, it's going to be a good deal. This 830 is still going to keep it as a strong buy. And that's going to be Tilray. Cron, Cron had a 25 cent bounce today, held in the channel, pulled back to support, bounced right off of it early in the morning. Resistance to break is going to be right around nine bucks. And that's going to be Cron. Solid support right down here at 818. ACB did pull back here where it had some upper rise. We need to break this resistance of. 11.35, I think. Yeah, 11.35. And try to get it up to... Let me see. It's 11.88 to break resistance of 12.30. Now, support level is going to be right down here at around 10.60. I'm going to adjust that. Put that 10.60 in there. Oh, boy. I don't know what alert one that one is. Here, we'll magnify this up. It's right here. This line's going to be your solid support. How'd I come up with that? I'll show you. I'm going to turn it into red line because that's where I'm going to be playing it. I kind of got it from right in here, this pullback we had right here. And I noticed we've had some wicks down here, so that's going to be the solid support there at 1060. And I need 1117 to break resistance. I want to see that 1060 hold. ACB. It rose up. I did have it at 1050. So the bar's been rose, been raised. We got CGC, another one of my favorite ones. We're also getting up here to the top. I think in resistance is going to be right here, 2946. If it does knife, we could have a support level right here at 2665, or maybe this lower one at. 2622 CGC APHA it's had a great run pulled back and then we bounced back up to resort re resistance almost we need to break 868 or pull back to the 774 APHA see any of these here down here that I like GRWG. And I like this one too. I'm thinking support level is going to be right about in here at 3402. That's got a hold. If not, it can drop down and find support right here at 3306. Resistance to break 35. Around 36 bucks. That's going to be a little resistance area on GRWG. 
And let's go ahead and go to the marijuana, I mean, to the car sector. And there it is. Let's see, the volume leader was Nile. We had A L Y I, little penny stock. Tesla had a big upgrade today. <clears throat> XPEV pulled back, kind of count, called that in the pre market report. So they doesn't look too good. Here's all the winners today. Workhorse <clears throat> rebounded 10%. CIIC, we're watching that real close. Tesla, already talked about it. Nikola bounced off my low support, bounced up, called it in that last report. We got Solo. Let's talk about Solo. Solo down here at 695. That was kind of like my horizontal support line after the breakout. And we did dip below that yesterday. And then today we bounced up and kind of consolidated with yesterday's resistance. So I still want to hold this 695 pretty strong as a solid support. If not, we can pull back to this 568 and take it back to 695. But that 627, that's like a midpoint right there. Right there in the middle, that's called a pivot point. So it could that be your first, second, and third support. Resistance to break is going to be the 766. Maybe take it back up here to 782. That's Solo. Solo had that Citron news. It pulled back. Now it's consolidating. Low support, 568 for strong buy. Resistance to break at 766. Let's look at FUV. FUV back here at support level just below 1191, 1197. We got a new support down here at 1090. FUV, let's see if we had any news in here. Launch roadside assistance problem. There's nothing wrong with this right now. FUV, so low strong buy at 1090 and resistance to break up here at 12. What is this? 12.58. Actually, let me go back. Now it's that higher one. Yeah, it's 11.42. That's what we got to break. Then we can break it back up here. Solid buy down here right around 10.90. That needs to hold. If that doesn't hold, I'm pretty sure it'll pull back to that. I mean, it can pull back to that. You got another support here at 11.41. But it could bounce right off this 200. So I've got three support levels, 1090, 1140, and 1197, with a resistance to break at 1342 FUV, Tesla. Tesla I didn't trade today. I got involved with Boeing. Did have big upgrade. So that was a really exciting news for this, but it didn't really turn me on. I mean, it turns me on, but we've had a pretty good run. We've been staying in this channel, so I want to try to clean this chart up, and we're going to try to find some new supports. Tesla. Got to clean it up. Gives me a new perspective on everything. 55523 is strong buy. And we got a little pivot point area right in here in this channel between these two figures right here and support right there. See how much cleaner that is now? Let's go ahead and bring this to a 20 day. Lock cleaner, there you go. So the pivot point is right, starts right in here. I'm gonna color that in. <clears throat> It's going to be like the pivot point in this new channel. we got your, your first support. And let me magnify this up to a daily. i got to find one more support in here. Right about there.
right there. Okay, you got three supports. You got this 591, 46, 587, 77, and I want to see this 583, 44 hold. If it dips into this channel, see that's kind of like a gap. It's like a gap right there. I'm going to go ahead and put a trend line here too, 569. Almost tempted to bring that down, but I'm, I'm going to leave it here. I think it can maybe pull back to 574.46, but I like this support right here at 583.44. And to continue making a smaller little channel for the next breakout to the higher resistance, and I have it at 604. That's Tesla. Here's one that's off the off the block. We had a little AQB salmon run today. Solid support right down here at 605 with a resistance to break of 2019 trend line of 642. And then you have a high to break 667. And a very low support right down in here at the 585 area. That's AQB. Keep a good eye on it. They're doing salmon. And I think it's it for the aftermarket report. I wish everybody a great day. And always remember, I love stocks. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Hit that, subscribe to that bell and hit that bell right there. Subscribe to the link and hit that bell and you'll get our future updates. And also on our website, we have our little Twitter bird. We've gained 11 new followers today. We did have 5,700 yesterday. They keep adding on. Vegas is posting alerts in here all the time. Here's our BA. Boom. Congrats. We called this at a very good spot. She's ran up ever since. I said 130 yesterday, and we hit 130 today. So that's a pretty good deal. <clears throat> this is I Love Stocks. Have a great day. My voice is getting a little hoarse, <laughs> hoarse today.